Dubai is known for its opulent grandeur and everything luxury. We're talking luxury cars, luxury yachts, luxury homes, hotels, and of course, food. Today we're at a really famous Turkish restaurant in La Mer called Zuzu to check out their gold baklava. This is a baklava with gold on top of it, because Dubai. In case you haven't been to the place, Zuzu, and they've got loads of other food, and a super heavy menu. But some of this food is so picture perfect that you wouldn't even guess that it's from the menu. This dish is made of filo pastry, filo pastry, nuts, and sweet syrup. We've got Turkish ice cream in between. This little thing that takes forever to melt. The filo pastry is stretched until it becomes thin and transparent. Then it's packed with a whole lot of rich fillings, including nuts, and finally drizzled off with, with sugar syrup or honey. Uh, and in this case, it gets even richer because there's gold on top of it. This baklava is given a final makeover with a 20 gram gold sheet because Dubai. The gold baklava is part of the restaurant's menu and you can order it at any time and it costs 90 dirhams. I'm about to eat gold for the third time in my life. That's like heaven in your mouth. So, what is baklava? Or as the Turkish call it, baklava. And who made it first? It's generally accepted that the first form of baklava came from the Assyrian Empire around 800 BC. The oldest known recipe that resembles baklava or something that looks like this is from the second century BC. And it's, it's an ancient Roman placenta cake, uh, which is a honey covered baked layered dough dessert. So the history of baklava is not like properly documented. They said it was probably developed in the imperial kitchens at Topkapi Palace, which is in Istanbul. But it pops up around the world in Turkey, Greece, Armenia, the Balkan regions, in uh, Azerbaijani or Uzbek and even Irani cuisine. And all with their own twist on the sweet treat. In Hungary, for example, it's called the strudel. So Zuzu also has other gold covered items. So they've got a tomahawk steak which is 650 dirhams with the gold on top. And then they have the Mac Daddy Asado steak, which they tell me is the juiciest best steak to eat, but, and that costs 800 dirhams with the gold on top. So at this point, you're probably wondering why? Why put gold on top of stuff? On top of biryani, on top of ice cream, on top of steaks, on top of baklava? Why? One of the reasons I think they do it is to stand out, especially in Dubai. There's lots of competition and lots of great food. And it's sometimes not good enough to say if the food is good, the people will come because there's so many options. Like this place even has a super cute robot waiter. And the staff are always ready to put on a show. So sometimes restaurants try different things. They do unique themes or have more Instagrammable spots so that people can come in for the gram, click pictures, or they get supersized, or they put some gold on it. And the gold obviously doesn't taste like anything. So it's kind of the novelty experience of eating something with gold. It's Dubai, yo. There's always something cool happening. <laughs> 